All right, business technology students, we're going to do something a little different today that you will need to include with your acrostic name poem that we started in PowerPoint. And what we're going to do is create a word cloud. One of the websites that you can use is called Tagxedo, T-A-G-X-E-D-O. Now, here's like one of the very few times where we're going to use the crappy Microsoft Explorer because Chrome that does not allow the Java applets anymore, and that's because they've moved on to their newest technology. Explorer has not, and it allows us to still use this website. So, once you find the Tagxedo website, this is what it looks like. You are going to use your first name, the acrostic poem that we put together, and we're going to kind of add to it as well. So you're going to click this load button here. Actually, let's pick a different shape. You can go through the different shapes. I think, what did I do? There it is. Since I like music a lot, I use the treble clap. So that's the shape I'm going to go with. And it's loading right there. And after that, you got to put the pitch or the words that you want, which is. What I'd like you to do is put your first name in bold so you see it, and then you're going to put the acrostics. So I'll just make up some words here. Perfect. Um, excellent. Uh, let's see. T for terrific. E for eats. Eating, because I eat a lot. And R for. Say rad. And I'm going to put some other words in here like oh, board night. And let's put some hobbies like saxophone, guitar, one board. Um, let's see, one more word so we fill one column. Video games. Okay, so. At the very least, we should have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 words. More is better. And of course, this list is going to be different for everybody depending on how long their name is. So once we get those words in there, we're going to submit that. It's loading, and all of those words will magically become a word cloud that looks like this. And you can play around with the colors and the orientation and the layout if you want. I'm going to keep it just like that. And what I'm going to do is Do the snipping tool to get this as a picture. So we got our snipping tool open here. Click new. You get the picture of the word cloud. And you save it to your desktop. And name it name phone word cloud. Next, you want to get this into your Google Drive, which I already did earlier. So here's my drive right here. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to turn this picture into a QR code, print that QR code out and put them along the room so that tonight, for back to school night, if you'd like to show your parents some cool technology, you can use a QR code reader to go to your work cloud. I know, it's amazing. So let's see, where did I put that picture that I saved earlier? Let's look up all images and photos. I think I put it into this account. There it is. So, 
what you do is you get the link for this. Click Advanced, and you make sure that you change this. This starts out saying Private. You want it so that it says anyone with a link. So you click that so it says anyone with a link. You're going to copy this link right here. So Control C, or you can right click and do a copy. Now we're going to go to a QR code generator. So we're just going to look one up. So QR code. I believe the one that I used was just this first one, which is pretty simple. And wait for that to load. What you do is you put your control V to put your address of the picture, and that's going to create a QR code. You have my QR code right there. If you want to get fancy with it, you can register on this website and put some pictures and logos inside there so it looks kind of fancy. That's up to you. So I'm going to download this thing. Oh, there it goes. So I thought I had to sign up, but apparently not. So that's cool. So. Minimize all this. In. Drag this bad boy over to my desktop. It's zipped up, but there's the logo right there. So hopefully this opens up. I'm going to print it out. Copy and paste that into a Word document. Got to go with the flow. When we don't let you do stuff, you find another way. So let's paste that QR code in there. I'm going to print this out. That should be printing. Oh, I can hear it. It's coming. So, while it's printing out, let me get this window back up, and you will be able to see on my cell phone here, I'm going to make this full screen, what happens when I use a QR generator to scan this bad boy. So, on mine, It's this one right here, QR code. For you Apple people, you'll have to go find one yourself. So, here's my printed QR code. Let's scan this bad boy. Okay, it just scanned. It's going to ask me, it's going to say that's the web address. Let's go into a Google Drive picture. And if all works well, you should see the word cloud that I made. Oh my goodness, there it is. Isn't that amazing? So you will do that today too. All right, let's get started. Let's see how brilliant this video really was. Peace out.